What's up guys? I'm Matt. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I decided I was going to go ahead and record just a quick garage kind of walkthrough tour. Uh, it's a 50 by 35. Uh, it's got nine foot four ceilings, I believe it is. Uh, like I said, it's got, it's got a lot of potential to it. It needs some love in some other areas as you'll see, but for what it is, it's just awesome in comparison, especially compared to what I came from, which like I said, in the Camaro build video, you know, the garage that I came from was a 12 by 22. So I could barely get my car in there in toolboxes, but I mean, it, it did the thing I needed. So now I have, you know, this whole area to work with. And so that really does make it nice. So let's take a walk around, just kind of look at what, you know, I'm working with. All right. So first I want to start with this wall. So this is kind of, you already seen it for one, and this is where some of my more cool stuff is at. So just quick, I got some old Kennedy toolboxes, the Craftsman, I paint them to match just so they look a little better. But the, I do like the Kennedys. I put a wood top on them, just kind of give me a work surface. Got a little metal brake on it. I told you I love retro and old stuff. Well, this is a 1954 Wilton Cadet Vice. I found that on Facebook Marketplace at a little flea market, and it was, I just couldn't help it, had to have it. I got my old cabinet here that I put all my paint and body work stuff in. Just, you know, it's a cool look. Eventually I'd love to, you know, get me some more cabinets and things like that and paint them all to match so it looks like a set. I know a lot of people buy the new sets, but that's just not really my style. So, you know, up top, I got my license plate and frame. I got the big picture of my car's digital rendering just to kind of help keep motivated uh for those of you who do like old signs and stuff and are still you know new to it because i mean i am really new to it don't buy that shell sign Ooh, made that blurry don't buy that shell sign that is a fake sign i found it out the hard way that's my 110 dollar mistake don't make the same one so I like embossed signs. The positively no trespassing is an embossed sign. So I do like that kind of stuff. There is the spray out card for my paint color and decals for my car. I have my Monroe shock catalog rack that you used to see in park stores all across America. Now you never see them, but I do have that. I love the way it looks. It has a cool look to it. I got my fancy exit sign up there. I think it's from the fifties. I got a, flea market I was excited for that one as we move across the air conditioner for the shop it's a little bit small but for 75 bucks it does cool the garage off quite well uh, the golf blimp so here's the hood to my Camaro I forgot to show that in the video but uh, it'll be all right I'll, I'll get on the next one I'm running the Ingersoll Rand it's a five horsepower 60 gallon with a three-quarter inch max air airline kit the regulators are not the greatest. I have trouble out of both of them, but this one mostly. It just, the gauge doesn't read right. Uh, I am running the kit. As far as like the curves on the walls, they don't do the greatest when it comes to that. But aside from that, I really don't have any complaints with it. And it was quick for me to set up. So that was one of the main reasons. So here's the 92, sitting here, hanging out. You got my son's little hot rod right here. He loves running to the fence with it. I don't really know why, but he does. Uh, you got some other stuff over here. My powder coat oven, kind of behind the, the vanity that goes to the house, but we're kind of in the process of doing some work. Uh, so there's the furnace in, for the garage. The curtain to the left of it, I pull it across whenever I'm either sanding and do something really dusty and dirty, or if I'm priming something, just keep the heater clean. I'll, I'll just shut it down and then I'll cover it up. I got my slot mag hose reel. Can't get no more old school than a slot mag. Got my front bumper cover for my car. Some other stuff, there's my, my son's swap meet wagon. So, as you look across, like I said, it's a lot bigger than that 12 or 22 I came from. I'm very thankful to have this area to work in because it is a lot easier. As you can tell, the floor looks like crap, but I mean, the priming and everything else just gets the floor nasty looking too. The floor drain is super handy. It's uh, came in handy a few times. Of course, here's the Camaro. I got my emergency lights over here. They kind of have a cool vibe to it. That one's a aerodynamic. It's what the Dukes of Hazard used to use in their cop cars. 
Got my PPG cabinets over here that put all my sandpaper and stuff like that in. Again, I got some train lights. I haven't quite figured out how to hang up yet. Basically, you know, I just want to have a cool vibe, a cool work area. It's it's cool to come out here and, you know, have everything turned on. And instead of just being like a sterile, boring shop, you have some neat stuff going on in the process, which is really cool. Uh, so this big curtain here, there's a cable that goes from here all the way behind the air compressor. I use this cable to help try to keep the dust down a little bit. I have a bungee cord that holds it pull the curtain out and there is a little bit of a gap at the top but for the most part it really cuts down the amount of dirt that gets from that side over here so it does cover the entire length of the garage which is nice so that is something that I did it was just something to try to help keep the garage a little bit cleaner on that side since it is attached to the house I didn't want a bunch of stuff getting over there by the door and then getting tracked inside I got some old road signs and stuff like that. This is a 3 ohm traffic light. I love this thing. It just, it's weird. It's funky. You don't see them looking like this very often anymore. I got my trash can that needs to be taken out. Old Quaker State Barrel. So this is the license plate wall. I decided a long time ago that I wanted to have a mural of license plates on one wall somewhere, so the bathroom seems like the best place. So now when we go to flea markets and car shows, I try to pick up a plate when I find one. So, pretty cool. Uh, of course, on the road sign, I got some other license plates uh, from France. It's from the outback of Australia. So I have, you know, several plates. I have this little light here, it came out of a coal mine. I'm not sure if it was a local mine or not, but I did get it at a local flea market, so you never know. I mean, as far as future plans goes, obviously the lighting layout sucks. At least they are LED now. It had eight foot fluorescent T12s in it. And I'm telling you right now, it was dark in here and yellow. So I bought 44 foot LED bi or ballast bypass bulbs that are 5,000 Kelvin. And it, it lit up a lot better in here. But the issue is, is the layout is terrible. Again, I'm just trying to get ideas show what i got and like i said just to hear back because again i think the thing that bothers me the most is the lighting and the floors because like i said the floors looks like they tried like four or five different attempts to paint it and every time they would do it it would just chip and come up so again i look forward to dealing with that but i don't know if i want to go the epoxy route or if i would like to go the tile route because the floor is not actually flat it's kind of wavy so it's hard to know which way to go all right guys so that was the tour of the garage and i'm really glad that i got a chance to do it if you have any kind of recommendations on lighting or flooring or anything like that give me a shout in the comments i appreciate it uh, i figured i better do it now while it's clean so once i get back to work it's not going to be clean in here again so i appreciate you watching if you haven't subscribe and like i appreciate it come hang out with us again have a good one see you